اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم رب شرح لی صدری و یسر لی آمری وحل العقدت من لسانی یفقہ قولی و جعل لی وزیر من آحلی رب زدنی علما رب زدنی علما رب زدنی علما آمین بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم سورة الباقرہ ورس ون ہنڈرڈ We will start from here now. Awa kullama. Has it not been the case? Ahadu. Ahda nabazahu. That every time they made a covenant. Fariqum minhum. A group of them. Threw it aside. Wal aksaruhum la yu'minun. But... The fact is that most of them are faithless. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying in verse 99 that, O oh, uh, Messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, we have sent upon you the Quran which has clear verses, which has clear orders. Only those people are denying this revelation who are non-believers. Now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling them, telling us, that Jews, whenever they made a pact, one group out of them broke it. If you check the history, you will find that when Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, our beloved prophet, came to Madinah, he made a pact, the first written pact of, of the history, Misake Medina, Pact of Medina. It was among Muslims and Jews because in Medina there were two groups of people. One were Arab and the other was Jews. Arabs became Muslim, Jews didn't embrace Islam. So when Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam came to Medina, he made a pact among Muslims and Jews for the peace in the city. According to this pact, Muslims and Jews are bound to help each other in case of any attack on Medina. And they have to defend the city together. But in first attack, in first war, it was Badr. kufar e Makkah attacked on Medina and Jews denied to help Muslims. Messenger of Allah, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, okay, we will Handle the situation. Just don't create any hindrance. But Banu Kanaka, a tribe of Jews, had the non believers and betrayed the Muslims. So after Badr, Messenger of Allah, Hazrat Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, sent them out of Medina. After Badr, the next war was Uhud. In battle of Uhud, Badu Nazir betrayed. And they had the non-Muslims and they broke the covenant, the pact. So after Uhud, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam fought a battle with uh, Banu Nazir and pushed them out of Medina. After Uhud, the next battle was Battle of Khandak. It was also called Ghaz Ghazwai Ahzab. In this battle, Banu Quraiza betrayed Muslim, although it was the most Difficult war for Muslims. Uh, the non-believers brought a big uh, army. Uh, it was 
टेन थाउजेंड पीपल इन दैट आर्मी एंड मुस्लिम वर ट्वेंटी फोर हंड्रेड वॉरियर्स ऑब्वियसली इट वॉज अ डिफिकल्ट थिंग द विंटर वॉज वेरी क्रूशल एट दैट टाइम स्वेयर विंटर सीजन हैज स्टार्टेड एंड ड्यू टू दिस सीजन सीजनल सिचुएशन मुस्लिम हैड टू फेस मैनी प्रॉब्लम्स एंड फॉर वन मंथ ट्वेंटी नाइन डेज दे सीज द मदीना इट वॉज वेरी डिफिकल्ट टाइम एंड इन दिस सिचुएशन इन द लास्ट वीक ऑफ दिस सीज द ज्यूज ट्राई टू अटैक ऑन मुस्लिम वीमेन एंड किड्स प्रॉफिट मोहम्मद सल्लाम put all females and children in a safe place in one building and there were no army over there for protection because they were in the city and jews were muslims allies so no need to make some um acts for protection they were already alhamdulillah at a protected place <laughs> but when non believers felt that they are not able to success the battle they made the jews to make a make an attack on muslim females and children so muslim army had to leave their places and they can won the war but prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam had got informed about it and he sent 200 warriors to protect the building for muslim women and children's security but it was a very very um sheer betrayal during the war so after ghazwa e khandaq when it was ended prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam attacked on bani quraiza <coughs> and punished them so this is what allah subhanahu wa taala is discussing over here that what is the sign of fisk sign of a person who is unobedient he is not obedient of allah subhanahu wa taala and not obedient of people he is a faithless person the greatest and the most important quality of that person is he always break his promise so as a nation jews when ever made a pact time to time one group of them used to break it and this is the sign of their faithlessness so allah say is saying because of this faithlessness they are denying you being a prophet bal aksaruhum la yu'minun but the fact is that most of them are faithless they don't have faith walamma when ever ja'ahum there came to them rasul min indillah a rasul from allah subhanahu wa taala musaddiqul lima ma'ahum confirming their own holy book nabaza farikum minhum a group from them those to whom the holy book were given उटली 
Musa alayhi salam gave them the book of Allah Torah. And after Musa alayhi salam, whenever, whenever, a messenger came to these people and he gave them an other book which was confirming the Torah. They never believe in him and they put the book of Allah behind their backs. They even neglected the Torah because they don't, they don't want to follow it. And nowadays, we are behaving like this. In every field of life, you can see that. Every one of us knows that Parda is a part of Islam. But majority of Muslim women are not using veil, not doing hijab. Every one of us knows that music is haram in Islam, but we don't care. Almost every one of them is knows, knows that riba, soothe, interest is prohibited in Islam. But the all Muslim countries are using the Sudhi system, the system which is based on interest. Why? Every one of us knows that the um, filmmaking and all these things are not allowed in Islam, but every Muslim country has a film industry and they are um, spending money on it and supporting it. Every one of us knows that bribe is haram in Islam, but people are very openly use it. They give the bribe for their work and um, officers and clerks are taking it. So what is this behavior? We are neglecting the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying. This was the behavior of Jews. And unfortunately, this is the behavior of us nowadays. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, Annahum la yalamun. They are behaving like that. They have no idea. They are, uh, they are, they have no knowledge about Allah's order. They have no knowledge of book. Although it's so true. So this is the behavior of faithless people. <clears throat> so we will have to change our attitude towards the book and towards the Allah's commands. This is the real solution of our problems, being a nation. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with faith and Strengthen us to follow his book. Ameen summa ameen. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika wa nashadu an la ilaha illa hanta wa nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Wa alaikum assalamu wa rahmatullah wa rahmatullah.